Hello YouTube, I'm back with a new video on how to make your own Lego iPod dock. This one's a lot smaller and simpler than the one I uploaded before because it is made for the 6th generation iPod Nano. As you can see, it fits nice and snug. Now this one doesn't lean back or anything because the iPod Nano is so small that it really, balance really isn't an issue. So it just stands on its own. I will be making probably other videos later that do use the 30 pin connector for the large, larger iPods and iPhones. So if you want, whoops, if you want to wait for those ones, you can stop watching now, but if not, let's get started. Here's an inventory of the bricks that you will need for the dock. Uh, instead of going through each brick individually like I did in the last video, I'm just going to leave this up here for you to pause and go looking for the bricks that you will need. Um, there is also a parts list in the description that you can refer to throughout the video, but I'll also be walking you through it so you probably won't need it, but here it is just in case. First, you're going to take the 4x6 plate and put on the two 1x2x2 two two roof tiles, like so. Ta -da. Then you're going to take your two 1x2 two bricks, place them there on the sides, and your 1x4 brick, place it there. Take your 1x2 brick with the hook in it and your 30 pin connector and just push it in right there. Should be as close as possible as you can get to the underside because that's going to keep it even up here. Next just take a 1x4 brick and put it under there and then two 1x2 plates and put them on the underside there. Then all you have to do is take the bottom part that you just did and connect it there. And those little nubs are going to keep the cable in place. Next all you do is just build up from there. Take two 1x2 bricks, put them on the sides there. 1x6 brick, 1x4 brick, 1x2 brick, 1x2 brick, another 1x2 brick, and another 1x2 brick. Then, whoopsie. Then a 1x6 plate. A 1x2 one plate. 1x2 one plate. And a 1x4 plate. Then you can either finish it up by using a 1x6 plate or 1x6 tile, sorry, 1x2 tile, 1x2 tile, and a 1x4 tile. And that'll just give you a flat dock that will work equally well. So it still stands there. But I kind of like to have the back supported. So take a 1x6 brick, another 1x6 brick, and just build up the back there the 1x6 tile back, and there you have your iPod Nano Lego dock. Now again, I will be working on other videos later of how to make other uh, more universal Lego docks for other devices. This one was just kind of a quick one, mostly to test out my lovely new little camera. So. Stay tuned, comment, rate, subscribe. Of course, you don't have to do this in white bricks. You can do them in any color you want. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.